Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Aussie Sim, and today we're in the TFDI Boeing 717 on our way down to Melbourne Airport out of Canberra. And this flight's going to be a tutorial flight for you guys. So if you are not familiar with the 717, then this will be the video for you guys to. Uh, follow along and learn about the uh, flight procedures. So we're sitting on the tarmac at gate 10, we're uh, early in the morning and the sun's just starting to come up. So we're going to jump into the cockpit here and then we're going to uh, set up the aircraft, get some power on and so forth. So we'll, um, we'll jump on in. So here we have it, we're sitting in the cockpit, we're uh, cold and dark at the moment and we'll get this, um, this started up very shortly. So first thing is we will load up the, um, the add-on manager like so and uh, just to let you guys know before we start the flight is that I've got everything all configured and um, I've got the flight already planned out. So we'll just um, start entering some figures into the fuel and the zero fuel weight and we'll get our uh, aircraft loaded. So our release fuel for the morning is uh, 11,250 pounds. So 11,000, uh, sorry, 11,000, yeah, 258 pounds. And our zero fuel weight is uh, 96,000. Uh, 224 pounds. Now um, I'm just going to bring up the panel here and our tablet here sorry and we're just going to show this display again of the um, add-on manager and we're just going to make sure that these fuel weights and uh, gross weights are all correct so here we have them in here so by doing that we just send the fuel to the sim first all right we get our zero fuel weight um, change there and we'll send our payload to the sim as well so um, it's 107.482 which will have our gross weight is 107.5 it's rounded up and our zero fuel weight is there 96.2 all right so we've got that all done we can close this down now and um, we can get started. I might just load up the I might just load up the um, documentation for this. It's just on my other screen. All right, so um, we'll go through preparing the aircraft. Just bear with me for a second, just got to fix something up. sorry about that um, okay so we're just going to get some power onto the aircraft here so we're going to start up the uh, the GPU the ground power unit first so we'll go to our tablet again we'll set up our exterior of the aircraft our ground power unit we'll select that on um, you can hear it in the background there we'll put our cones and our wheel chucks on and uh, we'll open up our doors now here this one here is the cargo door and uh, this one here is the front right door and uh, this one here is the cargo rear door 
and um, like everything we're going to have to get some catering to the aircraft so we'll load up GSX uh, you can see it flash up there alright we'll pop on over to the overhead panel and we'll get our um, our power going so it's a little bit dark at the moment and this is just uh, how it is so we'll be selecting our um, electrical panel so I've already got the park brake set so we'll set our battery on so that's this switch here we'll put our battery on this highlights to say Yankee, that we've got Charlie, ground Bravo, power airport information echo 2200 two, Sulu weather wind 8 visibility 1 0 sky condition 2500 scattered temperature 1 6 dew point 1 0 altimeter 2 9 so eight, we're just going to uh, power up while that's you have reading that in the background echo. Yankee, Sierra, Charlie, Bravo, Airport. Select our ground power on two, and our two, galley. Zero, zero, uh, Sulu, weather, wind, power two, on. Six, eight, at eight, visibility one, zero, sky condition two, thousand five hundred. Get it, temperature one, six. Just going to Yankee, change. Sierra, Charlie, Bravo, Airport information, Fuck. All right, now we shouldn't have any background noise there. Um, for some reason, it starts with the lights on so we'll sw switch these off all right we're going to put some lighting onto the um, panel here so we'll turn those on uh, for the lower panel and we'll select our dome light on all right so we've got some power to the aircraft and uh, we're not going to start the APU just yet And we'll just wait about two minutes. They take about two minutes for the displays to um, to load up. We'll hear the stick shaker. That's it there. We've got to set our navigation lights to on. Uh, just because it's still a little bit dark, we'll set our logo lights on. And we'll set our... Um, our wing light to R uh, only. That's this one here. Ah, uh, sorry, that's not that one. It's uh, this one here. We're verifying that our beacon is off, our nose light is off, our landing lights are off, and our high intensity light is off. That's here. And we've got our um, dome light on overhead lighting and everything like that is all set. So next thing is we're setting our um, auxiliary pumps to on. So that's our hydraulics. These are set on left and right. Our hydraulic trans to the on position. That's here. Um, and these are just tests that we're doing so we're then verifying that we've got uh, 2800 psi in the hydraulics page so we'll go down to our hydraulics page which is this one here and we'll just double, double check here that we've got um, enough psi in our hydraulics Two thousand eight hundred on the left and three thousand on the right, so that's fine. So we're going to set our auxiliary pump to off and our trans uh, hydraulic trans to off. We're doing our uh, EG PWS test. So that's our ground proximity warning test. So we'll do that. Flight here. slow. Pull up. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Sink rate. Pull up. Terrain. Don't sink. Don't sink. Too low. Gear. 
We'll let that Too test, low. and Blast. as it's testing, we'll just close our galley Too door. low. Terrain. Glide slow. Bank angle. Bank angle. Too low. Terrain. Caution. Terrain. 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 Pull up. We'll do our emergency power test. So we'll verify our left and right engine fuel valves are set off. So left and right engine fuel valves are set off. Set emergency power to arm, like so. Verify on the EAD power test fail is not indicated. And then leave in the arm position like so. So we'll do our wing ice detection test, so we've got our ice over here, um, this is the test button here, we'll push the wing ice detection to test and release, and then we'll verify the, um, wing ice detection has passed, so we've got that there. Alright, so fuel system test, press and hold fuel quantity test for uh, for five seconds, just find our fuel, which is here, fuel test system, so we'll press that, hold for five seconds, and we'll just check our fuel page, Our fuel uh, should be showing that it's got 9,000 pounds displayed in total, uh, which is correct, so that's fine. Our gear warning test. So that says unlock the gear handle, verify gear and it can now display red. And that's like so, so it displayed red. Uh, stabilizer trim test, open the config SD display, so we're going to go onto our config here, uh, verify Yo trip move stabilizer trim. So we'll move our trim and we'll see that that's moving on here. Set that back to zero. Enables the stabilizer trim inhibit. And uh, just put that back down. Verify yoke trim does not remove stabilizer trim. So we'll put that on, make sure that the trim is not moving when I press the buttons, and it's not. And uh, that's fine there, so we'll put that back on. Transponder TCAS test, so we're going to push the uh, TCAS into the test mode. That's down here. Go back one. And we're going to check the TCAS on. on our screen here.
right, so um, we're going to check our oxygen mask, so the observer oxygen mask. So that's just back here somewhere. Which is just down here. So we're going to set our emergency lights to on. And we'll just double check that our emergency um, light up the cockpit. We probably need to turn the dome lights off for that. As you can see they lit up here. All right, they're going to go into the arm position. Select our dome light back on. Uh, we're just going to check the oxygen <sighs> captain side. And uh, the voice recorder, which uh, which is up here, so we're just going to test that. So the test is passed, it's come up with green light. Do our cargo smoke test, so we're going to hold that in. Cargo smoke. Alright, so we've got that come up. And then we're going to go to our uh, air conditioning panel, which is just in front of us, uh, just in front of us here. So we're going to set um, this up, so the air can be found in uh, the middle, which is here if you're using an air source, APU or external air. So we're not using an air source at the moment. So we're not using air source, so we're going to set the isolation valve to open. And that's this one here, we're going to set that to open. Set our left and right packs to off, which they're off. Okay, so what we'll do now, um, we'll start up our, our APU. And um, then we can put that in the left and right packs into the on position. So we'll uh, turn our rear fuel pumps on and uh, get this started up. Uh, if we go to our config page down here, it should show it starting up. Uh, there it is there. See the numbers going up there. So we'll just wait for the APU light to come on. And um, switch over to the APU power. So we've got an APU power on. We're going to turn our air on. We'll turn the power off, the GPU power off shortly. Okay, so now we're going to go do through our air conditioning panel again. And we've got air now um, coming from the APU, so we're going to select our isolation valve into the open position and we're going to turn our left and right packs to the auto position. Alright, so um, so we're going to go to our icing panel. We've got, um, we're going to set, select our windshield anti-ice to on. And we're also going to select our anti fog on as well. Alright, so now we're going to do a um, indicator lights test. So we'll be pressing this button here and we'll see all the indicators light up. Right, like so. So that works fine. We're going to set our passenger signs on, so our no smoking sign will be on, and our seatbelt sign we're going to put it on. Um, so 
So now we'll select our IRSs, put them into the on position, uh, into the nav position. So that's just our GPS tracking system that um, shows where we are located for our flight planning. All right, so they'll uh, load up shortly. And that's everything on the overhead panel that we, uh, that we need to take care of at the moment. All right, so we're just gonna pop back over here. We're going to select our ground power unit off. And then we're gonna start planning our flight. So uh, we're just gonna select the FMC on this side and the FMC on this side. going to go into our flight plan initiation. So we're flying from Canberra, so Yankee, Sierra, Charlie, Bravo. And uh, we're flying to Melbourne today. Put that in there. We're going to initialize our IRS and we should get some displays up here. Alright, our flight number. So uh, just going to load up flight plan again. Alright, our flight number for today is um, QF2376, 2376. Put that in there. Our cruise level will be 340. Uh, our alternate airport is Yankee Mike Echo Sierra. There. And we're just going to go from 35 to the cost index. Uh, the next page now, we're going to bring that up on the screen here. We're going to pop over to the tablet. I'm going to put in our figures uh, that we pulled up from, that we entered earlier. So our takeoff gross weight will be 107.5. Our uh, zero fuel weight is 96.2. Our center of gravity is 20%. Like that. And we're, um, we're good for there. For some reason, we need I'm just going to get rid of that for the moment. Alright, so we're going to go to our flight plan page. We're going to enter our flight plan. So um, our flight plan will be via. Canberra here and we're going to, to the Canberra VOR. So I'm going to just put CB, that's the Canberra VOR. We're going to select that into the section there. We're going to make sure that we're selecting the VOR, which is 116.7. That's it there. And then we're going to enter in the rest of our flight plan. We do that by clicking next to the CB here and we're going on via an airway. So the airway that we have. Uh, UQ215 and we're going to Tanta so we'll enter that into here and uh, then Q29 and there uh, to Lizzie so let's put that in there And that's it. We've got our flight plan, that's all put in. So we will be selecting a, um, a SID and a STAR, but uh, we won't be doing that just yet. What we'll be doing is setting up our uh, takeoff page, so we'll be going flaps 13 for our departure. Our, uh, Slope today will be zero, that's the runway. Slope, that's flat. Our wind, I'm uh, just going to check that. Our wind is uh, nine knots. So we're going to put that in like so and enter that in here. Our outside temperature is 17 degrees, so we're going to put that in. 17 and degrees Celsius and 
we've got our these speeds here and we've got our stabiliser trim setting here so uh, while we've got that there we can set these up so we'll set up our V speed so that's 141 and our stabiliser trim we'll set that at 4.4 and what we're going to do is we're going to request clearance uh, very shortly and uh, that'll give us all our details for our departure. So I'll just switch over to 10121. Uh, Bravo Airport Information Hotel 2230. Alright, so we'll request our clearance. A clearance delivery. Planted 2376. Our parking position is Terminal 1 K8 with Aidus. Request clearance. Qantas 2376, clearance runway 35 to use, clear to destination airport via the Charlie Bravo, Niner then has filed, climb and maintain, Niner house expect, flight level 34010 minutes after departure, departure frequency will be 120.4, squad 3474, QNH 1012. Cleared via the Charlie Bravo, Niner, climb to Niner thousand, expect flight level 340 within 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 120 decimal 4, 1374. Quantus 2376. Quantus 2376. Read back correct. Contact ground uh, 121.7. Roger. 121 decimal 7. Quantus 2376. Okay, great. So um, we just got cleared out of uh, camera by uh, off runway 35 by the uh, Charlie Bravo 9 departure. Um, we're climbing to 9,000 initially, and then up to flight 340. Um, so we'll just go and put that in our flight plan here. So we'll select on our Canberra, and we'll select our SID, and we're going to go off runway 35 on the Charlie Bravo 9 departure. And uh, we'll just put that, insert that in there, like so. Now, um, the good thing with Pro ATCX is that uh, it does give you the ability to look up our flight plan, and um, I can see what we're expecting for an approach into uh, Melbourne. So we'll be landing on runway 16 with the ILS uh, with the Lizzie for a star. So uh, we can enter all that information now into the flight plan. So we'll sort of find Melbourne Airport and we'll select that and we'll be selecting here for the star. So we're going to the uh, ILS on runway 6Z and the Lizzie 4A approach. And that's it. We'll just put that in. And now we'll fill up our flight plan. We should have no, um, no gaps in it. Like so. And we are ready um, to get out of here shortly. Take it, take it out of the park, take it out of the park, cross down and shoot runway 26 left and runway 26 right for the air. So we've got our um, barrow set. Departure as well. We're going to um, make turn all these on, but we're not going to select our auto flight on at this stage. But we're going to select our. Um, uh, it might not let us. Okay. Our profile is armed. That's for when we depart. We'll be able to uh, climb at our profile setting. Uh, we'll select our traffic on. We'll select our uh, data on, and we're going to get our weather come up here on the page here. If we've got any clouds or anything like that, any bad weather that's expected on our departure today. So we'll be turning that into. Um, Weather uh, the weather mode. And now that's going to load up on here. On this side, we're going to 
select the terrain page, and we just do that by selecting this button here. Default is set up on the weather. We have weather on the left and terrain on the right, especially flying out of Canberra. We've got some mountains that we've got to uh, get over. Alright, so we're just going to pop on our miscellaneous page here and just make sure that um, what's flashing here. So we've got some cabin doors and cargo doors open. So uh, we've got the aircraft loaded. So we'll go back in and we'll uh, close our doors, get rid of the cones and get rid of the wheel chocks. Fantastic. Alright, so... Um, Go through our pre-flight checklist. So in our interior and exterior has been inspected. It's checked. Oxygen mask is checked. Voice recorder checked. Cargo smoke checked. Air conditioning panel is set. Ice protection panel is set. And the camera lights have been set. Uh, the have been checked. Passenger signs are on. Flight control panel is set. Altimeters are uh, set to nine decimal eight eight. Cross checked. Uh, flight navigation instruments checked. Fire warnings checked. Parking brake is set. Takeoff warnings checked. Fuel switches are off. Radios and transponders are set. Radar is off. Aileron and rudder trim is set. Flight attendant briefing has been completed. Departure briefing has been completed. Lock, log book and QRHs are on board. And fuel required. We'll just make sure we've got our fuel on board. Uh, 11,180 pounds. That's fine. All right. So. Uh, we're going to push back shortly, so we go through the pushback checklist. So we've got our uh, doors are verified as closed, so we'll check on the miscellaneous page to see if there's any warnings there. Hydraulic pumps are uh, all on, so trans and our auxiliary pumps are on. Fuel panel is set. Our transponder is Alt on. Ice protection is set. Our beacon is on. Parking brake will be released for pushback. So we're uh, we will request our pushback. Give you a quick view outside. Hey, Robbie, do you think it's like they're on me at your left? Hello, Captain. We are waiting for pushback. We'll select our dome light off. We won't need that on anymore. Alright, we'll release the uh, parking brakes in a second. We'll just get a uh, clearance for start up and pushback. Alright, we've got approval for our pushback. Release our parking brakes. We'll get ready to uh, start, so we're turning all our fuel pumps on as well. Cabin crew arm slides. Turn our left and right packs to the off position. 
and we'll go for an engine start. Alright, so we've got our um, engine starting up on the right hand side, so we'll select our fuel to there and we'll start up our, um, our left engine. See that loading up in front, of, in front there. And we'll select our fuel on. Alright, our engines are still starting here. So our right engine has started up. Parking brake, we've got both engines started. We're going to set the flaps here for uh, flaps 13. Like so. Just wait for our uh, pushback procedure to so the weather doesn't look too bad coming out of camera today. Alright, so we'll go through the after start checklist. So we've got our anti uh, engine anti ice as, as required. Air conditioning panel is set. We'll turn our left and right packs back into the on position. Uh, we'll select our APU off. Put our switches off there. Get our clearance for taxi uh, to the runway. Qantas 2376, request taxi. Qantas 2376, taxi via Charlie Bravo November Hopper to runway 35. Via Charlie Bravo November Hopper to runway 35. Qantas 2376. Alright, so we've got a clearance to taxi out to runway 35 uh, via Charlie Bravo November Hopper. So we'll do our taxi. Um, Taxi checklist, so flats set at uh, 13 and set, spoilers armed and we can see that because we've got the red tab here on the spoilers, takeoff take speeds are verified and stabiliser trim is set. So we'll select our taxi light on. And we'll head on out now, we'll um, Taxi on out to the runway. So we're going to release the parking brake by putting the brakes on and then just increase the throttle here.
Ground, velocity 2 by 2, request taxi. Code 5, code, taxi by Golf, Bravo, November, up up to runway 3, 5. By Golf, Bravo, November, up up to runway 3, 5, velocity 2 by 2. All right, while we're taxiing out, uh, I'll just talk about the channel. So the uh, YouTube channel, I haven't done many videos again. Um, it's been a lot of other things in real life have been happening. Um, so I'm trying to get back into doing some videos. So the um, 717 I'm covering at the moment. I'd like to then do the um, 747. And... Um, I might do redo the 737 tutorial um, at a later stage and go through some of the other aircrafts that I have and see what there is that um, I know there's a GA aircraft that I've got it's a Pilatus that I'd like to do a video on um, so I'm trying to get those done um, to the new year and um, Hopefully by that stage the Aerosoft A320 will be released, um, which I'll definitely be getting. I do have the F FS Labs one, but um, to be honest, I don't really like it. I don't. I don't think it's. Um, and I had some problems with the controls, and I didn't like the fact that they were fiddling around with them too much. So that was already a, a downside for me. So. Um, yeah, but hopefully 2018 will uh, be another good year and get some more subscribers. And, um, have another fun year of flying around as usual. Alright, so we're coming up on the runway here. We do our before takeoff checklist. So departure runway is 35 verified. Flaps 13 set. Takeoff breathing complete. Brake temperature is checked. Flight controls free and correct, EAD is checked, transponder TARA, so we'll select that now. Uh, landing lights on our nose light into the takeoff position. Uh, flight attendants prepare for takeoff. Uh, flight attendants are notified and acknowledged. So we'll get our takeoff clearance here. Tower, one, two, three, seven, six. Holding short of runway 35. QFA 23376. Line up runway 35. Lining up runway 35. Alright, we'll turn our high intensity Lining lights on. Two, That's three, the uh, seven, strobe lights here on the left, oh, on the far right. We'll taxi into position here. Now we've got our nav armed. Um, so that'll be ready for once we take off and I can just follow the flight plan as we've entered. Clear for takeoff, so increase the throttle. Let's spool up. And then we're going to go full throttle for takeoff. Coming up on our V1 speed, our VR rotate. All right, we'll set our FMS and uh, we'll go auto flight on. With you, passing 2,500 for 9,000. 
Radar contact. Gear up. Can you be up? CD Niner departure. Climb to Niner thousand. We get the Charlie Bravo Niner departure. Climbing to Niner thousand. Wanted two three seven six. Stabilizer motion. All right, so we're um we're climbing as required and. Uh, Just maintaining this speed here. Stabilizer motion. We won't retract the flaps just yet. We'll wait for our speed to go up further. Stabilizer motion. Uh, that possibly Quantum, once two, three, we seven, finish this turn. Climbing to flight level one six zero. Cleared up to flight level one six zero, so we'll put that in here. Climbing to flight level one six zero. All right, and our speed has uh, gone up to two hundred and fifty knots, so we will um, we've retracted our first stage of flaps, and uh, once we get past this, we'll retract our last stage, like so. And we'll turn our nose light off. All right, we'll perform the after takeoff checklist. Landing gear up, hydraulic pump switches are off, APU is off, flaps are up. Flaps takeoff selector, which is just over here. Stabilizer motion. He's set to five, which I'll um, just dial in now. And check our spoilers disarmed. EAD is checked. And that's it, we'll uh, continue to climb once we pass 10,000 feet. We'll do our climb checklist. Uh, it's starting to get a bit cloudy up here, so we'll just climb through these clouds. And, um, hopefully we have a nice run all the way down to uh, Melbourne. It looks like it's, it's okay, there's nothing coming up on the radar here, so just about to pass through 10,000 feet. So we'll turn our landing lights off. We'll select our um, barrow to 299.92 decimal nine two and we'll perform the climb checklist. Landing lights off, altimeters uh, set standard cross checked. Very good. All right, so we'll continue to climb and um, we'll just wait till we pop through these clouds and I'll then end the video of this part one series and then we'll re, uh, rejoin back on the descent down into Melbourne. Alright, we've uh, gotten above these clouds here, so we'll turn our seatbelt signs off and we'll uh, let the passengers move freely about the cabin. 
and um, we'll end the video there. I'll continue the rest of the flight and take in the lovely scenery down to Melbourne and uh, I'll catch you back in episode two. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying the video so far um, and I'll see you in the next video for the arrival into Melbourne Airport.